This is a model of a motorcycle handbrake. Uh, let's focus on the fundamentals of 3DCS. Uh, one, putting tolerances on CAD parts. So this is an example. Uh, it's the top surface profile on the cylinder and uh, any, pro any tolerance you want to look at will be highlighted when you open it in the menu. Uh, and uh, number two, establishing the assembly process or sequence, uh, which is the order the parts go together in the manufacturing process. So once you hit animate, like which, like it was shown, uh, you can click through all of the steps that it goes through in the build, as opposed to just hitting nominal build. And, uh, now, number three, assigning measurements that reflect the specification for the product. Uh, so, just going through the measurements in this model, the first is to measure the gap in between the inside surface of the cylinder and the outside surface of that purple piece. And second is to measure the distance in between the bottom of the purple piece and the top of the switch button. And the other measurement measures the end of the lever, how much it moves in the x direction, and then how much it moves in the z direction. And the final measurement uh, is in between the inside surface of the slot and the outside surface of the tab and the cylinder and the lever mount. The, and number four that we want to focus on is uh, analysis. So you can run an analysis. This one has uh, it's simulating 2,000 builds. And when you look at the results, you can see all of the contributors for the results you're seeing. And once again, it's going to look at the measures that we made and you can click through and it will highlight the measures as you click through the results.